I think that the main source of our strength is our being right, because we are right, and we have enough reasons to prove this to any audience and at any event. We were absolutely right in the Karabakh issue, and no one can deny that. We were right in being guided by the ideas of independence, because we are an independent country. If we are an independent country, why should we be at someone else's beck and call? Then let's not even be an independent country. If someone thinks that they will control us, they are wrong. There have been such attempts, no more recently, because they already know, but it did happen. We do not interfere in the internal affairs of other countries. We have never done that. We have never interfered even in the internal affairs of Armenia, even during the occupation. We never interfered in their internal processes. However, we had enough opportunities. Even today we don't. Notice how many attempts have been made to interfere in our internal affairs. So, many cunning plans have been drawn up against us. You remember them all well. Back in the early 1990s, the baseless section 907 was passed against us. Why? We allegedly kept Armenia in a blockade. After all, our land was occupied. So, how could we keep them in a blockade? At that time, Haider Aliyev had not yet come to power. At that time, there was a democratic government in Azerbaijan that was applauded by the West. Notice how widespread anti-Azerbaijani feelings were at the time, and how many baseless accusations we were subjected to after that. Totally unfounded. In other words, we were right in this matter as well. We were protecting our independence. We were moving towards our goals. And now when I analyze the past events from a new perspective, I see that the basis of these injustices against us was probably the unresolved status of the Karabakh issue, because they wanted to constantly keep us under pressure, constantly portray Azerbaijan as a country of dictatorship, autocracy, a country that crushes democracy, so that we deal with these accusations, defend ourselves day and night, or bow to them, and ask them not to offend us. But what did we do? On the contrary, we expressed our position in the face of the attacks. And then they saw that this didn't work. They can't forgive us for liberating Karabakh, because this removed the lever from their hands. Azerbaijan, figuratively speaking, got off the hook. This factor no longer exists. After the Second Karabakh War, they raised the issues of status and rights of Karabakh Armenians, so that they could poke their noses into it again. They insisted that an international mission be sent there, in order to confuse the situation again. That lever is also out of their hands. So, now they are looking for a new topic. I am answering your question somewhat broadly, but this is the main platform for that. We were always sure that we were right and never did anything wrong. Let me say again now that they are accusing us of willing to attack Armenia. I have already said this, and I will repeat it again with total sincerity. If we had wanted to, we would have done so. We would have gone to the very end. The city of Jermuk, the city with former real name of Istisu, was right in front of us. Who could have stopped us? We had no intention. Our intention was to protect our border. We had to have the heights to be able to monitor Armenia's plans visually. A Westerner told me during a conversation about this topic, that you have a satellite, and you can see it from the satellite. I told him that my eyes were my satellite. I have to see it with my own eyes. A satellite is a device. It may get out of order, or maybe turned it off, as it is in your hands. We have not done anything wrong. And this is the main factor. The second factor is our strength, the unity of our society, the unity of our people. And we could never win the war without this unity. I am saying this quite clearly, because it was the spirit of the people that determined this victory. It was the spirit of the people that sent our soldiers forward. It was their upbringing, no matter what weapons you have. No matter how many troops you may have trained professionally, if you don't have the spirit, you can't capture any height. They were prepared to die. As you know, I have spoken a lot about those who are against us. Maybe that is enough for this interview, but they failed to evaluate us properly, which is probably why they lost. If they had assessed us correctly, they would not have meddled with us, and meddling with us may prove too costly for each of them. These events you mentioned are clear evidence of that, both in the UN and in the European Union. Bu hadiseler hem BMT'de hem Avrupa ittifakında bunun eyanisi budur.